Good morning, folks. It appears we've got some questions about yesterday's top story. We'll try to answer a few of them, but we've got new news and something on the sun, so let's begin over at spaceweathernews.com. We find the last 24 hours on our star were not quite as quiet as before. After a filament erupted over the far side yesterday morning, one ripped off the south this morning. We watched it in the opening sequence as well. This filament did produce a solid little CME. It is not directed at Earth as this satellite looks from our line of sight. And if it had been fired at Earth, we could maybe perhaps expect a level 1 or 2 geomagnetic storm, moderate eruption only. But also of note, a little comet is there trying to hide behind the blocking disk arm of SOHO. It did dissipate before reaching the solar corona. Two noteworthy earthquakes the last day, both in the South Pacific. Both blot echoes down near the low velocity zone. Up next, more on a topic on which we do not get enough coverage. You know that chaos in the sky described by our ancestors? It's what scientists say happened, only they think it happened millions of years earlier and humans never saw it, they just got lucky to have fake stories they invented match reality from eons before. Seriously. No major updates today, just a baby step and possible correction in their ever ill-equipped models. I was just happy to have a reason to remind you that maybe they weren't lucky. One of your links today is to four new mission proposals from NASA, and I can tell you straight up, the other three on the list couldn't combine to provide the potential of the first one. I don't know if they are pronouncing this Aspera or Aspera, as long as they pick that one, I don't care. It's going to be what complements the LSST's proof of the ubiquity of dusty plasma to the demise of dark matter. If you don't know DrRoySpencer.com, he does climate science with his head not implanted in his backside about 98% of the time. He's the first to report the UAH data on the massive drop in temperature in December globally. It's been about two years since Earth had a month as cold as December. La Nina taking effect strongly and winter is just beginning in the north. Speaking of such things, ouch Japan, utterly hammered after a tremendous cold system took out power, caused numerous accidents, and has halted critical transportation. Back to cosmology here. Not only are scientists continually discovering the matter needed to help account for galactic rotation, and the electrodynamics of that matter remain far from integrated in the models, but they may have less to account for in the first place. Considerable issue with galactic rotation science laid out here. Up next, we're in the super cool science realm, finding a new way to prove that beings can sense and interact with magnetism. I would call this a bit beyond the birds and insects and whales and deer and other stories we've seen. When you lessen the magnetism, you get glowing, growing. And if veteran observers remember the cocoon hypothesis about Earth's magnetic field, this is about as on point as it gets. It's going to be a deeper look episode on the website coming up, that's for sure. Now back to the length of a day. The Earth's rotation glitches. Every single day, it changes. Hopefully the chart yesterday showed you that. But even with the variation, there is a normal range, and there is a normal deviation per day. Basically, the planet has slowdowns and speedups all the time, but as we saw yesterday, after 50 years of records, we broke the fastest day record 28 times in 2020. Many of you have asked what is causing this, and many have asked if this is related to the stories in not just the Bible, but numerous others from around the world predicting a shortening of the day. First, so far these changes are minute. And while an acceleration of the day is indeed expected as our mantle surges as its viscosity is worked by increased cosmic rays due to the Earth's weakening magnetic field, 50 years isn't exactly a lot of time for a pattern like this. What we do know is that for the data that exists, yes, the days are getting shorter. In fact, for the entirety of time we have data up until 2020, Earth's year was slightly longer than the exact mark, but all of a sudden, we find ourselves for the first time on record, with a year shorter than a year, and it's expected to be a bit faster in 2021. Now there is no great way to predict what happens afterwards or know the exact details of past eons, but for what we have, yes, this is what we expect given the observations in our current cyclical catastrophe situation, and indeed, the trend is for a shortening of the day. We greatly appreciate your support. More on this topic with the Cosmic Disaster playlist at our channel page, the link list right below this video on YouTube, and at suspiciousobservers.org. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 5.30 a.m. in the United States of China. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.